picked up one of these at the start of the season. These are the Yokozuma FCMs. They're sort of a budget version of the Pachenkos. Um, I thought I'd give it a go because they are about a third of the price. I think this one was like four ninety nine. I picked it up on eBay. Uh, so it's a top water lure. You just sort of skid it across the surface. Um, I probably played it a little bit too fast over over this season. Um, but it's not going to make it as one of the best lures, unfortunately. Um, this was one of the most disappointing ones. Of course, there's a lot that goes into it. You can't just say this lure's rubbish, this lure's crap, because it might have been uh, what the fish were chasing after on the day and things like that. The rattle here uh, isn't as good or as strong as, as the rattles in some of the uh, top water lures. And the hook itself, uh, not as good quality again as some of the... Um, Japanese made one. So this is the FCM 140. But a lure that does make it is this Zonk. Uh, it's been brilliant. So it's a big tick for this one. Uh, it actually caught the third amount of fish that I've caught this season. The bearings in this work really, really well. They're heavy. It's still rattling after a season's work. You can tell it's taken a bit of a pound in this this one. Um, just everything about it is, is fantastic lure. Casts really well. There's only two other lures which are coming up which I've caught more bass on and I only picked this up later in the season. So I'll certainly be using this in 2019 and it gets a big tick. I also bought a Tronix Pro lure simply because this cost, I think it was about £1.50. Um, and you can see already uh, the quality is pretty poor. I'm not expecting too much, obviously, for under two quid. Um, so when I took it out of the box at the start of the year, um, okay, it might have your, your trebles weren't too bad on it. You can see it's got the three bearings on there as well. Uh, this turned out to be utter, utter rubbish. And I'm not sure whether it's designed for fresh water, but the salt water quickly got in and rusted those bearings in there. So in the end it stopped making a noise at all um, didn't look too bad out of the packet however you can see that it's using two separate bits of plastic and that opened up lost one of those rings and obviously everything rusted this is the J11 this fished really well throughout the spring and summer uh, there's a J13 as well which casts a bit better it's probably slightly better but I use the J11 quite a bit and this actually brought me my second um, best amount of fish. Nothing particularly big with this one. Uh, it's picked up a lot of schooly bass uh, but I've always felt very confident with this J11 and um, obviously if you leave it it floats to the surface so it's got that advantage and I'll definitely be using it again in 2019. So on the left there is the fish black minnow and then on, in my right hand that white and red one is actually called a sidewinder I think they're the weedless minnows they call them um, so the fish black minnow always fishes well every year it's quite a well recognized lure that one uh, really good works well from the kayak as well I use the offshore version which is the bigger one um, so that's always going to be recommended but these ones are a lot cheaper it's only a couple of quid each I think I paid for these the sidewinder weedless minnows and these are going to get a good tick as well this year as well as the black minnows they don't work quite as well and obviously you're spending a heck of a lot less but you can pick up three of these for a fiver um, so yeah these have worked really well I've had a few bass on them and they will be going into the tackle box next year as well for 2019 uh, if you compare the two side by side as well they're pretty comparable really um, the fish black minnow is slightly better but um, certainly have a look at those sidewinders as well. Uh, I just thought I'd throw this one in as well. These are, um, for those that know, I do a little bit of saltwater fly fishing and uh, these are the Flexo sand crabs in olive. It's like a bonefish fly but they've proved again this year uh, to be a top bass catcher and I've only had a few small bass but they've been really good so uh, another one for 2019 those they've been really good this year
and here we have it this is the number one lure i've caught the most fish on this this is the lure i've been most confident with and it's certainly something that i'll be using again in 2019 uh, it's called the Yozuri Crystal Minnow. It's a dark colour um, and it's sort of like a slow sinking lure. So you're working it just sort of subsurface. Uh, it's been brilliant. This has caught more fish this year than any other lure. Of course, it's not a particularly scientific test that we've run, um, but I just hope it does give a few ideas as to what lures uh, you might want to try out for next season. 